Welcome back to the Bluegrass on this gray March uh, day. I think it's the 24th of March 2020. And for historical purposes, we'll go ahead and throw in that we're on Corona lockdown. We have been so for three days. <laughs> that doesn't actually change our lives a bit though, because we kind of live out here on this compound and uh, do the same thing no matter what's going on in the big world. Uh, but today what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna throw some dummies for some puppies. We're gonna work on some inductive retrieving. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, dummy launcher work with my dog, Mr. No Name, and uh, so that we can multitask. While we're doing the dummy launcher work, we will be acclimating this little Labradoodle and this little Fox Red Lab to gunfire. So tag along and uh, have a good time, and I hope that the COVID isn't, uh, isn't ruining your week. All right, now I grabbed me a little mat off of my four-wheeler so that uh, I don't have to get too awful wet. It's been raining all night. Uh, so remember from last week, what we had little Ruby here, and uh, we kind of would take her and we'd get her excited about, uh, about fooling around with this dummy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, come on, you can do it. Good girl. And then when she'd put her mouth on it, I'd kind of say, hey, I appreciate that by clicking, and then I'd give her a treat. And remember basically what the, you know, what the marker training is, is that you mark something that you like and you tell them the check's in the mail and it might take a little while for that reward to get there, but it's for sure coming. All right, so this is kind of where we were at last week. We're just kind of moving this around. She put her mouth on it. We would uh, give her a treat. Then each day, what I do is I start to try to ask her to hold it a little bit. So I'll give it to her, hold it, take it away. So I kind of put a number on it in my head, you know, so I give it to her. 1,001, 1,002, treat, you know. And then maybe in a couple of days, I'll get up to three. A couple of days after that, four or five. And then you run into what's called exponential growth. It goes from five to 10 to 20 to 40. <laughs> As she starts to understand what's going on. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. All right, so let me see. Let's see if we can get to three. One, two, three. Very nice. And uh, then I kind of started tossing the dummy. <laughs> And she would come back and I would say, hey, I really appreciate that. Toss it a little farther. Oh, you're a good dog. Oh my gosh, come on. Say, appreciate that. And I'd toss it. And then watch, as she comes back this time, I'm gonna take it, reward her, but then tell her that I'd like for her to get kind of in this position over here on my side before the treat's actually delivered, okay? So I throw my dummy. Come on, come on, nerd. You'll get a lot of this. Don't fuss at them. If you fuss at them, you'll ruin your inductive retrieving session. So watch, she brings it back. I say, I appreciate it. Then I lead her over here into this uh, service heel position and I give her a treat, okay? Now, you try to keep your repetition, uh, you know, uh, pretty low, three to five reps is kind of a good, uh, kind of a good general rule of thumb. So I got a few of those kind of repetitions in. That's been going well this week. And so now I'm gonna throw this over into the, oh my gosh, you're a good dog. Throw this over into the, to the grass and brush a little bit. Very nice, one. Two. Oh my gosh, you're a smarty. And three. Oh, you can do it all the way back. All the way back, you did it. Very nice, okay. And believe it or not, that's a session. And like I say, in all these inductive retrieve videos, the biggest mistake people make is uh, trying to teach the puppy everything at once. Go outside, do a lot of exploring, do a lot of you know hanging out, having fun with your dog, love on them a bunch, okay? But keep the actual retrieving repetitions uh, on the low side, okay? We wanna leave the dog wanting more in every single uh, transition. Oh, come on, Wally. All right, guys, I got a little treat for you. I got a nice little fine animal here. His name's Wally, and Wally is a Labradoodle. <laughs> and we love Wally to death. He, you know, of course, he falls into that category of <laughs> wanting to be a lab, so he wants to come out here and hang out with all the labs. And we love him. We love for him to come out. Uh, the only problem is, if you'll look around uh, and see all these sticks and briars and cucklebirds and stuff out here, uh, at least 1% of the total biomass of this field is going to go back to the kennel in this dog's coat, and I'm going to have to pick it out. <laughs> so that's the only thing that we don't like about those doodles is a lot of coat maintenance. Okay, but 
as far as uh, what we're doing now this dog he's uh, he's he's not as advanced as ruby you know and ruby's not as advanced as mr no name that's the way this stuff works guys you got to take and break things down into small steps and focus on making individual progress so right now all we're interested in doing is uh, just showing this dog that we would like for him to put his mouth on this dummy okay or to uh, chase after the dummy and bring it back to our hand. Oh my gosh, you're such a smarty. So I start up here real close, right there. Oh, it's you a good dog. Appreciate it, okay? Big mistake, guys, big mistake that everybody makes. I have to, re I have to you know, reiterate this point again, is don't ask for too much in your training sessions. You know, make sure that your expectations are in line with the dog's developmental stage, okay? Keep your reps short. A little farther. Oh, that's a good Wally. Very nice. Now, see, you'll get some of this right here, right? Now, if I fuss at Wally or I attempt to make him, uh, you know, like bring it back to me, then he's going to feel bullied and he's not going to want to play anymore. Okay, so I got his attention with the little whistle. He didn't bring the dummy back, but that's okay. Good. Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pair my whistle with the retrieve this time and see if uh, see if I can kind of keep his attention focused on me. It's not when they don't bring that back to you guys. They're not trying to be. Uh, they're not trying to give you a hard time. They're not trying to be disrespectful. You know, they just get distracted and they go off and they're like, oh, I got a toy. I'm gonna go play with it. Come on, come on, Wally. Wally, come on, come on. Oh, you can do it. Wally, 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 Wally. Oh no, no, no. You're gonna go get this thing. You're gonna go get it. You're gonna go get it. You're gonna go get it. Now watch, so I'm gonna shorten this up just a little more. Oh, let's shorten it up a whole lot. Let's shorten it up a whole lot. Very nice. And if this is what I can get today, guys, well, this is just what I'll have to be happy with. Oh, it's behind you. Oh my gosh, watch, 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 watch. Oh, very nice. You're such a smarty. Come on, come on. You can do it. Now, see, I got just a little bit farther there, and that seems to be my limit for the day. Maybe, what is that, three and a half, four feet? Okay. All I have to do is stay focused on making in incremental progress. Okay, that's it, guys. You just have to be patient. Oh, you're good, Wally. Come on. Come on. Now, see, look, I threw it right there on purpose just to see if, if, if you know, if I could get it from that distance. So, watch. I'm going to back up. Very nice. And I'm going to throw it just inside that distance this, side, this time. So, I'm going to get him excited. See? Reliable. Ain't that crazy? You know, right just, just six inches too far, and I can't get the retrieve today, okay? Don't push it. Work within the limits that you've established. We'll do one more just for just to see if I'm right. Come on, come on. Very nice. Oh, you did it. Almost. Oh, come on. You can do it. Now, see, so I'm not fussing. I'm just not going to give him a reward right there. There we go. Boom. And so I ended my session on a high note. I probably didn't do a perfect job of, uh, you know, ending where, like, at the peak of his satiation curve or right before the peak of his satiation curve. I probably went just a couple, you know, a couple of repetitions too far, but I was trying to make the point to you guys that this wouldn't seem like a big difference. You noticed from about right here, I was getting reliable retrieves. Six, eight, ten inches too far, and I lost my reliability reliability that is how subtle dog training is that's why i always say dog training is an art okay you have to go out every time and you have to paint your own masterpiece okay and uh, sometimes that masterpiece it doesn't look like a masterpiece in the beginning uh it looks like uh you know <laughs> like somebody's trying to color along the lines and can't stay in the lines okay but just stay with it you'll get it i promise now we're going to do a fun little drill where i throw three dummies and I direct Mr. No Name to go get the dummies in order of my preference, not the order of which they were thrown. Okay, you can back on up there, cameraman. So I'm going to toss this one out towards the cameraman. I'm going to toss one out to my left and one out to my right. And then I'm going to ask Mr. No Name to come right straight towards the cameraman. No Name. 
Good boy, very nice. Oh, come on, you're such a smart dog. Very nice. Now he should return to the heel position and hold the retrieving item until I ask him to release. Now I'm gonna pivot in place and I'm gonna send him to the dummy that I've thrown to my left. Heel. Very nice. No name. He's gonna go over there and get that one. Oh my gosh, what a smarty. Oh, you're such a smart dog. Very nice dog. And he should return to the heel position. Good. And then I'm gonna pivot all the way around and uh, send him to the dummy on my right. No name. Theoretically, he should get that and make it three for three. Good boy. Very nice. Dang. Can't beat that. Heel. Oh, come on, get up here. Oh, get all the way up here. Make me look good, dude. Very nice. And uh, you see there how I kind of had to fool with him a little get, bit to get him into a perfect position. Okay, that's going to happen, guys. You know, don't sweat it. Just every day try to do a little bit better than the day before. So as far as help goes, all I have today is my young daughter and my beautiful cameraman. So I'm going to have to do the dummy launcher myself. I'm going to position myself out in front of the dog so that he, uh, you know, is looking out and up, which is what we want. I'm going to try to, if I can, read the wind right, I'm going to try to shoot this dummy so that it falls in this lane so he doesn't have to spend too much time hunting. But remember, we're trying to do a couple of things here. We're working on Mr. No Name's uh, retrieving skill, but we're also acclimating two puppies over there just, just a few yards away to this gun fire. Now it wasn't a perfect shot, but if he was paying attention, he should be able to get that relatively easily. No name. I'm directing with my whistle if I have to. Oh good boy! Very nice! Oh my gosh, you're such a smarty! Oh, good boy. We have him return to the heel position. Good boy. All right, let's see if we can get another repetition in. Now, <laughs> this wind is uh, killing me. <laughs> sometimes there's no wind, sometimes there's a little bit, and every once in a while we're getting a big gust. So I'm going to try to get another one right down here on this uh, lane. Dang, I got lucky on that one, cameraman. Return to my dog. No, no. Very nice. Now, no name's doing well. Those puppies are over there. They're not making a peep. Good dog. Come on. Come on. You're a fine animal. So all in all, this is working out pretty well. Super happy. Good boy. Heel. Very nice. Stay. Now, uh, like I said, I like to get three to five repetitions in on most of my retrieving sessions. Stay there for a second. I got to run back here. I'll be right back. I have to run over here and get my dummies that ran out of our dummy launcher cartridges my wife literally just asked me if i had enough and of course uh, i said no or i said yes and the answer was no uh, that's kind of how our relationship normally works stay there dude and then my dog got up so that's kind of embarrassing but I'll leave that in there for all you uh, wives that are out there watching my channel. <laughs> so that's a little win for all the wives in the world, being right when the husband's wrong. All right, so I asked the dog to stay there again. See if I can't get another one of these dummies to drop somewhere close to the middle of that lane. And ah, just a little bit outside the lane in the brush, a little bit. No name shouldn't have any trouble with that. No name. He should be able to go up there and get it. And I might have to give him a little help. There you go. Good boy. Very nice. Good dog. Come on, come on. Oh, you a good dog. Oh my gosh, you're so smart. You a fine animal. Good boy. Heel right here. Hold the retrieving item till asked to release it. Oh no, it's a pretty good session, guys. Is that three repetitions, cameraman? Dang, nice. So three repetitions for this dog, three repetitions of getting uh, some acclimation to gunfire for the puppies that are over there a few yards away, some inductive retrieves. All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode two of Essential Retriever Skills.